facet matchups. See if Pawn can actually take it because they opted to ban out the long range DPS mages instead of Zed. All right, with picks and bans on the books, let us know who you think will come out on top. Game one here by tweeting at LOL Esports with the hashtags EDG win or FNC win. We'll add up all the results as we get into the game and you'll be able to see your vote. Backing your favorite team here as we enter day two of the Midseason Invitational. It is Fnatic versus EDG. And EDG with some fantastic picks. And I really actually like the Callisto. I don't necessarily like it generally in the hands. So Yellowstar really helping out his bottom lane here and oh, making sure that level advantage clear love. that way. The classic clear love level two gank here. Nice play back there by Mako. The flash body slam with the exhaust as well. First blood again for clear love. Mako's burning down still back. Unable to answer that one. EDG again with this play. So we do have Rainover taking the blue buff here. He may actually be able to come right and route behind Koro. That's going to be the pop-up. Koro flashed, but he still gets locked. It doesn't give him much distance with that slow one. And now, oh, wait a minute, they got a flash. Go Rainover goes down because of too much from the turret. Koro's passive Woo. was so huge in that exchange. And again, the flash hook still back dodges it. Nicely played. The map. Now he's going to make his move top lane. There's the snare from Maokai. It's a little bit close to the turret, though, so. Yeah, Kara actually going down very, very low here as well. Hoonie, he's going to overheat. Nice work from Clearlock to try and save him. But the Flame Spin is burning Koro down. Twisted advance nets the kill. That was so close. Just magically disappears from Rainover's sight on that gank. He doesn't stay on top of the LeBlanc distortion. Yeah. Also uses his unburrow on the minion. Yeah, the teleport coming, coming in, in from behind. It's but not going to up the kill. Cooney now trying to get the Flame Spitter down. He does Harpoon once onto Deft, but that's not going to matter. Deft on Kalista can just get out of that light crowd control. Quickly bouncing what back. Now the hook from Mako, and he can't get any help from Steelback. He's already turned away from the fight, and EDG are picking things up everywhere now. Bond's going to go in here under the turret. Uh, I don't know why we're... Oh, no, this, this is, is not the... the uh, yeah. All right, so he, he went in full. Oh, but Deft picks up another one, takes a Lantern out as well. Somewhat a heck of an early game lead right now. Pawn and this is still not a champion focus in the middle. Play. One of the slipperiest uh, guys. Double row. There's the stun. Oh, that's the death mark. They're going to need three now to finally take him down. We'll see if EDG can work anything off of this. But I think Fnatic executed fast enough to get back and repair. Necessarily get pushed further back because look at that river up the top side. I mean, they're not going to be invaded again. That's a good point knowing. to bring up. You know, we were looking at those warts that yeah, earlier exactly. in the day. Uh, EDG, well, Coral's going to. Yeah, Corey, he does have the ultimate there. He's stopping a lot of this damage, but he's burning down here again. But in the bottom lane, Fates calls me, Bob Yellowstar dodges out of the thing with a hook from Mako. Fates call not going to get the knockout, but he doesn't need it. Game mainly with farm, 51 to 34, still building himself up there, but he hasn't been present for the team. He did just grab the blue over on EDG, but they grabbed his and Dragon. So everything they're doing is just being hit harder by EDG right now. Febivin trying to get his hands on Pawn in the mid lane, but Clearlove is also there. He's going to deliver a nice belly slap and a barrel to take down Febivin. Yeah, Rainover looking to try and come back in here. Pawn quite low at about 300 health, but he's going to get paid on this. A flash, Rainover picks up that kill. Clear up, trying to answer, and they just did not think Rainover had the damage. But this is the first warrior enchant that we've farming. seen so far, MSI, and it's working out for Rainover. But there's a game to build warrior enchant. Oh, it's another one. <laughs> oh, get out of that wall, buddy. Because he can still live. Here comes oh. He's on the Mako. Rainover's gone. Goodness, Koro looking for it. Gets the slow, but I think he's got a wet. speed boost, baby. <laughs> he's got the shrine. Oh, he got, oh, got hit by the harpoon. All, all right. right, breather. Yeah, calm down. Easy, guys. We're Easy. all right. I'm so happy I Woo. do play by play. But it is China control. There's crazy fights. But what I what I mean by control is when they group up. All right, the tank line is going to do a lot. Wait a minute, here. though. It doesn't look like Hooney's going to be the only one to go down here. They get out of the turret just in time, actually. Pretty hard for Fnatic to pull this off. There's the teleport from Hooney. They're going to force it. Can yeah. Yellowstar get his stun? Rainover looking to come in, but Pawn is going to distort out of the way. Deft might need to get Lance and his Mako. He's moving pretty quick. Forced to use a flash, actually. There's the stun as well. Death mark on the Deft. He's trying to escape this one. Beautiful exhaust from Mako, though. He does get the kill for Piven. Trying oh. to get out. Koro picks that one up. Rainover trying to do some work, but he gets destroyed oh, by Pawn. And Steelback <laughs> finds his way into the fight eventually. And Koro, why are you not dead? As Yellowstar 
You are not going anywhere, buddy. Pawn's got so much damage. And the double kill for Mako. 3-1-9 on Thresh. On to Baron. It's almost EDG's <laughs> prerequisite to get inside the base. And I'm pretty sure they'll be warding up that Baron as that minute comes. Right over gets played right out of the tunnel as he tries to make his way into the fight. And they are dead. going right through the turret. They'll be able to drop some kills. That second tier turret as well. Deft does have the mark on him, but it looks like he's going to live through this with that Bloodthirster sustain. And they continue. They're not even worried about this second tier. It goes down as an afterthought. This is fight. ridiculous. And Fnatic once again get wiped. Yellow Star is going to make it out this time, though. From LeBlanc in the Zed matchup. Makes a lot of sense and makes those tower dives that much easier. Well, Coral, though, sticks around a little bit too long. Yeah, he might be in trouble here as he's trying to turn it around, but this tree is not going to last that <laughs> long. Man, that was a lot longer than even I was expecting right there, but Nobody's Fnatic spells. managed to get it done. Man. Oh, Why not? Looking gonna... for something here is for Biven. Does use the death mark. Nice use of the Zonius, but I think three members might be enough from <laughs> Fnatic. And Rainover pads his stats yet again. <laughs> you had those moments where you're so far ahead, you ask your team, you think I can 1v5? And they say no. <laughs> you take it as a challenge. Challenge accepted. Oh, it looks like they want this fight. This will also mean the Baron. And oh, maybe Coro. seal the deal. Coral from the side. Fnatic not able to assess the fight correctly, and they lose Timbers immediately without it doing too much damage or stunning anybody. Oh. Yellow Star now calling shots from the death chamber, and it looks oh. like they're going to be able to clean this one up with a Fates call, but they go back in. Yeah, Def looking to get back in on the Fates call as well. Beautiful work jumping over the edge, and he's just going to kill for Biven too easy. Meanwhile, Pawn on the backside is going to take down Steelback as he tries to relentlessly pursue away, and man. The CDG lineup's looking like they had some rest last night, Kobe. Uh-oh. Is Huni going to go for a solo on uh, Mako here? He misses. Ooh, oh, he's getting hurt. burned. He'll take the shot down, but he's going to be close to the ace as Yellow Star respawns. Original W. He's and buying time for the rest of the team to converge. Yeah, Def looking to make his way in here. Oh, Yellow Star, the chain's on him. Pawn doesn't even give the assist to Def as rain over. He's going to try and tunnel out. Koro with the twisted advance. Huni just getting destroyed. What equalizer, ladies and gentlemen, is Rainover. He's going to die. EDG a huge ride now. Eight turrets to zero. That 15,000 gold lead, and now the fourth dragon of the game. A clean sweep here so far for EDG across the objectives of the map. And now they look once again, not really to spread Fnatic out thin. They're only going towards mid and bottom here, but they're definitely going to make their numbers smaller as they pick them off here one by one. Yeah, Alex. Caro in trouble. I mean, actually not in trouble, as Forbidden's in trouble. Yeah. And <laughs> Clearlov does get the beautiful body slam. A little gonna, bit unnecessary. Gonna cause gonna pick up the kill. Yeah, causing some trouble, exactly. Rivington, man. Yes! Oh, that's the first turret! Progress. Yep, don't even worry. This The comeback is real, ladies and gentlemen. Chain's gonna land on a rain over, though. He's getting punished for taking down the structures of EDG. Mako makes his way in as well as Vaughn. He looks for the reset of his cooldowns. Equalizer coming down from Huni as well. The rest of All Fnatic right. making their way in. Vaughn, he's gonna destroy a tunnel with his clone? That was cool. I did not know that could even happen as Tibbs is going to get hooked up as well. Clearlove making his way into the fight. The culling just getting tanked like it's doing nothing. Oh. Steelback sacrificing himself for the team as Deft. He's dominating now. Koro looking for the flank though. Is Yellowstar going to be okay as Huni is trying to get Who's out. the target this time? Sneaking What's out the of the fight. Oh, Pick up in. Cleaning up the minions, Koro with the Righteous Glory, not in range of Flash from Yellowstar, and he cannot get the Arcane Smash in. You saw right, Kalista, then might as well rack up a few extra kills. <laughs> I think the timing. Walk this way. <laughs> get back here, no. Mako. There's the playback. Rainover probably not going to be able to make it out of this one, as he's going to get rendered uh, to death. I... Koro was looking. Uh, <laughs> this is my show right now. Lo, 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 lo. Anyway. <laughs> It's going out of the Dex's turrets. It looks like EDG may be able to put the stamp on this game. Steelback trying a relentless pursuit core in, but it didn't work the way he wanted it to. Koro was still outside the fountain laser, and the Nexus turrets not long for this world as EDG looks to close out the game. Yeah, second Nexus turret now going down as the sapling comes through. Equalizer not really hitting anyone. It's for Bivens just going to get destroyed. Deft is legendary. Yellow Star going to get melted. A double kill for Deft. Rain over in trouble under his Nexus turrets. Clear love. Steals the kill away from his AD carry. That is awful as He's going to make his way into this one, and the Nexus is falling down. Still back going to die, and EDG, this is what we were expecting for this team heading forward. Doesn't even die on the fountain, and man, that was 
a disgusting performance from the Chinese. They seem calm, cool, and collected. Another day at work, I guess, for them. What?